Okay, sub level seven. This is either a rest sub level or a sub level with a dangerous new enemy. And it's the dangerous new enemy. Oh god, he's right there. Shoot. Okay, so. Meet our new enemy. This guy is called a Gatling Groink. These guys wander around aimlessly. And they try to mercilessly fire at you. No joke. Best way to take these guys out? Using purple Pikmin. And when they die, like bull bears, they actually regenerate health. So, if you kill them naturally, make sure you take their bodies to the um, spaceship so you don't have to worry about them. But yeah, those are our new enemies. They're not too bad. Usually you can find ways to take them out before they get too dangerous. But, nevertheless, they are dangerous. So watch out for them. They have ranged attacks. And they're just dangerous. That's really about it. Now, we're going to take out these guys how we would normally take out any other enemy like this. Like the cannon beetles, for example. We're going to attack him while he's focused on another target. And this guy also has a treasure, too. But, it's more important that you take this guy back more than the treasure, so uh, make sure you get him back to the ship before he regenerates. Also, watch out for the bomb rocks, too. Um, I'm not really sure how bomb rocks work. I think if you just touch them with Pikmin, they'll go ahead and go off, but I don't know that for sure. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, anyway. But anyway, you guys go ahead and take that back. I want to see what this egg has. Oh god. Don't really need any nectar right now, but... If we did need it, that's where we'd get it. What was that purple Pikmin doing? He was kind of running around over there. But anyway, let's see. We have another egg over here. This one... Oh, sweet, we actually have a purple spray. We've actually gained more than we've used them uh, in this entire day, so that's actually pretty cool. We did use one for that bull bear, but... Or not bull... Yeah, bull blacks. Yeah, we used one for that, but... I kind of felt like we needed to. Anyway, we have another treasure over here. Let's see if we can maybe get a trap to come out. Not yet. There'll probably be a trap when I actually make it over to it. We also have some red tape, too, so... Once again, three treasures on this sub-level. Let's go ahead and get my white Pikmin ready. Because they're going to be the stars of this show today. Yep, I knew it. Yeah, game, I'm a little too smart for that. Just a little bit. And uh, I'm willing to bet that we'll have the same kind of thing over here. We actually need more Pikmin, though. Shoot. Um... Well, they get, they'll get some help from the Reds. Alright, that actually worked out pretty well. Oh, I, oh, I need one more. But anyway, we have the red tape. Which is called a Furious Adhesive. Very creative name, because it's red. That name definitely works out. Um, yeah, I'll have all my white Pikmin with me now. Now, let's try to get this treasure, which, again, I'm pretty sure there is going to be a trap associated with this one. I think it's a bit too obvious right here. Yep! 
Again, too smart for that game. Always watch out for treasures that are just like laying over here by themselves because chances are there is going to be a trap associated with it. But anyway, we're actually done. Where's the... Where's the hole to get out of here? Okay, I don't know where the hole is. That's not good if the hole is not programmed here, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Oh, okay, we haven't explored over there yet, that's probably why. But anyway, new treasure, we have... Twist to open treetop, a thirst activator, which I'm guessing is just a... Bottle cap or something. Okay, we are done with the treasures, though, that's for sure. So where the heck is the hole? Well, there it is. Okay, usually you can actually see it on your map without having to actually explore, but... Decided to be a little difficult this time. But anyway, on the floor eight. Sub-level 8, what do we have this time? Is this a rust sub-level? It is! Okay, this is where you actually get the, uh... Violet candy pop buds. Yeah, there they are. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do for this is, uh... I'm gonna use 5 of my whites and then... 10 of my reds for this. Wait, no. Wait, did I say that right? Ten of my reds and five of my yellows. I think I said whites instead of yellows. If I did, my bad. And we'll throw them in this one. And where's the last one? I'm pretty sure there's... Yep, there he is over there. And uh, after this floor, we actually have the boss of level 2, so we're actually almost done with this. Like I said, we moved through this cave pretty quickly, which is all I could have asked for. Have plenty of purple Pikmin. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to worry about getting those guys. God. It seems like, I think all the Pikmin except your purples, like, freak out whenever they see those bugs. I have no idea why, but that's just the way they're programmed. But anyway, we have a lot of eggs to smash. And we have a lot of Pikmin to flower, too, so... Definitely going to spend some time getting this nectar. We can probably find some sprays here, too, if we're lucky. But I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's a luck-based factor or if they're programmed to be in certain spaces. It's hard to tell. I don't really know. I haven't researched the mechanics that in-depth, so... Yeah, I wouldn't know. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it for this floor, so... I think it's time to move on to the boss, which is actually one of my favorite bosses. I'm gonna go ahead and say that right now. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite bosses. Okay, here we go, guys. This definitely looks like a boss sub-level. And there's our friend over there. That giant hunk of metal in the middle of the room. Before we start fighting him, though, we have to find a place of cover for our sideline team. 
Once again, the people on the sidelines not going to be doing anything. We just have to find a way to keep them safe, and that's really all they're going to do. Just stay here. And then we're going to have our attacking team, which is, once again, going to consist of our Purple Pikmin. Why? Because Purple Pikmin are awesome, and they're going to be our attackers for most of the game, so get used to it. So anyway, now we're going to find a place of cover for ourselves. Uh, this little place over here should be good. I know this doesn't look like it would be a good place, but it is. Uh, basically, any structure you see in this room is uh, safe from cover. Which, uh, if you want to know what I mean by that, well, let's just go ahead and find out what this boss's attack pattern is. Meet Man at Legs. A giant robotic spider. Anyway, this is his attacking pattern. He brings out his gun and he starts shooting at you. That's the attacking pattern. Then he puts his gun away, and then you basically just do the same thing. He's not too bad, but you have to be very quick. You don't have very much time to escape his blast. Oh god. That actually scared me, because that Pikmin should not have made that. But he did, so let's not dwell on things too much. Come on, come on, get over here. Okay, good, we made it. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh god, that was close. No! Oh god, I got, I got a little too trigger happy there, but don't worry, I think we have him. There we go, okay. Man at legs has been destroyed. And he drops a light bulb. Now, I've already kind of hinted at this treasure before, so uh, I probably don't have to explain too much. But basically, with this treasure... We're going to be able to see a lot easier in the caves. You can see basically the whole area, uh, the whole entire area in the caves light up. And you can just, you know, see from a further distance because it is lit up. So, very good treasure. doesn't have, like, any major practical use because it seems like you could make it through the game without this. But um, it's still good to have. It's really nice to have. But there we go. We have our light bulb. Only a hundred Pocos, though. The Stellar Orb. If I combine this glass sphere with the synthetic sun I have been secretly developing... Processing complete. I have my manufactured a solo system. The artificial sunlight it eman emanates will brighten underground areas. Okay. So yeah, as you can already see, like, uh, the area's gotten a lot brighter, so we can actually see what's going on. Which is very, very nice to have. But anyway, that's it for the subterranean complex. We can now get out of here and finish this cave once and for all. And if I have enough time, which I'm pretty sure I do, I'm probably gonna go back in that cave and get some more purple Pikmin. Let's see, I think we have about, like, 80 right now. So if I get 15 more, then I should be good to go, um, because there is one cave in the next area that offers five purples, so that should definitely be enough. But yeah, there we go. Once again, no Pikmin deaths. Had a few close calls, though, that's for sure. I don't know how I'm getting so lucky with this, but I am. Okay, Valley of Repose. Now let's go ahead and put my Pikmin away, and I'm going to use uh, blues for the rest of the purple Pikmin I'm going to get. Wait. I want to make sure I had 80 in here. Yeah, I do. Okay. For a minute, I thought I said 60, which uh, I knew was wrong because, well, I, I had 65 before I went in there. But, eh, whatever. I just didn't see very well. 
They only have 27 yellow Pikmin. That's kind of spooky, I guess. Uh, no, I don't need that many. I just need 15. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and cut here. But yeah, I'll be right back with my new 15 purple Pikmin. And then... We'll leave the Valley of Repose for the last time. And then we can get ready for the final two days that we'll be spending in the last area. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll take two days. I mean, I, I've seen people do it in one, but I don't see that happening. I really, really don't. But who knows? You never know. I could get lucky, I guess. But anyway, let's make it all the way over to this cave, which, uh, actually went the wrong way. It's this way. And yeah, I'll, I'll just see you guys in a minute. Okay, here we go. Have our new 15 purple Pikmin up to 95 purples now. Only five more to go. And uh, we'll be getting those in the new area. So uh, we'll definitely have enough to get that final treasure. That's uh, worth uh, a thousand Pikmin to get. Or in another way, a hundred purples to get. So um, I don't have very much time, but there is a few things I could do, I guess. Actually, let me do this. Uh, basically, I do want to try to farm some yellows and reds before I leave. Because, as you can see, I'm very low on those numbers. So, uh, I would like to see if I can maybe raise those before I end this day. But, if I don't, I'm not going to cry about it because... Yeah... I definitely have enough to complete the game. I would just love to have, like, you know, more just kind of as a buffer because I don't have very much. But I don't think the flowers are going to form anymore, the pellet posies, because normally you can get a lot of those at the end of this day. Or not at this, but during this day. And, uh, yeah, they're not coming up. Well, I can at least nectar up my Pikmin because, yeah, a lot of them don't have any flowers yet, so probably best I do that before I finish this day off. At the very least. Plus, I never touched these eggs up here, too, so... Kind of a... G what? Okay, maybe they disappeared. Okay, well, never mind then. Guess I'm not gonna do any Pikmin raising, but... Whatever, I'm gonna end the day. I'm gonna end the day then, because there's nothing else to do. So yeah, we're going to go to Sunset, Valley, Valley of Repose is completed, hooray for that. Wow, that almost looked like Pikmin 1 for a second, because, yeah, I only saw red, blues, and yellows, I didn't see any other types. But yeah, there we go, guys, there we go. Valley of Repose is completed. Yeah, our red, blue, and yellow populations went down, obviously, but our purple population skyrocketed, so that's, that was important that we did that. Still no Pikmin deaths. Let's gonna see what our email... Okay, it looks like it's Email uh, Louie's grandmother or mother or something? Louie, we suddenly stopped hearing from you. Everything okay? If things get tough, you can always come home. I'll stock up on those pick-pick carrots you love. Hmm. Pick-pick carrots. Didn't we lose an entire shipment of pick-pick carrots when uh, Louie went on that mission of his before we returned? Maybe. Eh. Guess we'll find more about that later. There we go. Saved our game. Back to the world map. And the only area we have left is the Wistful Wild. Five above ground treasures and three caves. And we can definitely do everything in at least two days. Or at most two days. So uh, that's what we're going to do tomorrow on the next day. Before we go though, let's go ahead and look at our Piclopedia and our treasure list. Let's see, first we have the Gatling Groink. 
very dangerous foe. Be careful of him. Uh, we still need the acoustic weevil for this, and then these are the candy pops, and still haven't found this uh, shrubbery yet. And then, of course, we have Man at Legs. God, though, this boss is really lethal to carry around a gun like he does. Also, I believe if you use the uh, Z button, you can actually uh, see what happens to these guys whenever they get turned to stone. So, that's kind of cool. Okay, are you going to attack or not? I want to see his attack animation. I think he does it eventually, but... Eh, whatever. But yeah, that's the uh, Man at Legs. Now let's go to the Treasure List. We finished a new series. We finished the Hyper Technology series. And we also finished the Industrial Sets. And... We also finished the Explorer's Friend series. Which, uh, these are all the treasures that you get for getting all of the, uh, special items, I guess you could say. Because the next area, because it's the last area, there are no special items, so... We have, essentially, all the upgrades. But yeah, that's it for the treasures, and... Yeah, we're done with this, so let's go back to area selection. This has been... Slim Kirby, it's been Let's Play Pikmin 2. I'll see you guys next time when we start the final area of the game, the Wistful Wild. Later, folks.